Welcome students to the quick solution of All India Cash Test Series Medical. This is test number 2 for RM, Code E and F for Chemistry conducted on 31st of January 2021. So let's start with the first question of Chemistry students which is question number 46. Let's read it. Oxidation never involves. Student, let's see which of the following is not involved in oxidation let's see the first statement addition of oxygen this is correct statement as oxidation involves addition of oxygen addition of electronegative element this is also oxidation moving to next addition of electron student this is an incorrect statement as oxidation involves removal of electron On the other hand, reduction involves addition of electron. So that means number third statement is incorrect for oxidation. Moving to last, removal of electropositive element. Student, this is also a correct statement. That means the correct answer for this question is option number three. Here I am writing answer is option number 3. Moving to next question students which is question number 47. In which of the following reactions the underlined atoms is reduced? Students for this question first of all we have to identify the oxidation states of the underlined atoms and then we would be able to identify whether the underlying species is reduced or not. So starting with the first reaction Ki plus Cl2 gives KCl plus I2. Here the oxidation state of iodine is minus 1 and here it is 0. Since the oxidation state has increased from minus 1 to 0, that means oxidation has taken place. Moving to next, FeCl3 plus H2S gives FeCl2 plus HCl plus S and the underlined atom is Fe. Here it is plus 3, here it is plus 2. Since there is a decrease in oxidation state, that means reduction has taken place. So, reduction. Moving to the next reaction, HgCl2 plus SnCl2 gives Hg2Cl2 plus SnCl4 and the underlined atom here is Sn. So the oxidation state of tin, here it is plus 2 and here it is plus 4. Since there is an increase in oxidation state, that means again, this is a case of oxidation. Students moving to the last reaction, CuO plus H2 gives Cu plus H2O and the underlined atom is H2. Here the oxidation state is 0 and here it is plus 1. That means there is an increase in oxidation state from 0 to plus 1. So, this is a case of oxidation. So, the only reaction in which the underlying species undergoes reduction is option number 2. That means the correct answer is option number 2. Moving to the next question students, which is question number 48. Let's read the question students. For the redox reaction, Cl2 plus IO3 minus plus OH minus gives IO4 minus plus Cl minus plus H2O. The correct coefficients of the reactants of the balanced equation is. Student, we know that total charge on the reactant side is equal to the total charge in the product side in the balanced equation. So, I am directly writing the balanced equation Cl2 plus IO3 minus plus 2OH minus will give IO4 minus plus 2Cl minus plus H2O. And here we have to answer the correct coefficients of the reactants. For Cl2, the coefficient is 1. For IO3 minus, the coefficient is again 1. For OH minus, the coefficient is 2. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Moving to the next question, students, which is question number 49. Let's read the question. Which of the following is not a disproportionation reaction? Number one, I'm writing here KClO3 gives KClO4 plus KCl. Here the oxidation state of Cl is plus 5. 
in case clo4 it is plus 7 and here it is minus 1 that means the first reaction is a disproportionation reaction moving to next p4 plus naoh plus h2o gives na h2po2 plus ph3 here the oxidation state of phosphorus is 0 here it is plus 1 and here it is minus 3 that means this is also a case of disproportionation reaction moving to next cl2 plus naoh gives nacl plus naclo3 plus h2o here the oxidation state is 0 here it is minus 1 here it is plus 5 that means this reaction is also a case of disproportionation reaction moving to last cu plus hno3 gives cu no3 whole twice plus no2 plus h2o here the oxidation state of nitrogen is plus 5 here also it is plus 5 and here it is plus 4 so student it is very clear that in option number 4 there is only reduction has taken place there is no oxidation that means number 4th reaction is not a disproportionation reaction so the correct answer for this question is option number 4 going to next question students which is question number 50 let's read it which of the following compounds does do not contain any atom with zero oxidation state? Student, I'm drawing the structures of all the given compounds and then we'll be able to identify the oxidation states. Number one is C3O2. So I'm drawing the structure C3O2. Here the oxidation state of carbon is plus two, zero and plus two. That means in option number one, there is one carbon atom which has zero oxidation state. Next is Br3O8. So, Br3O8, Br, Br and Br3 bromine atoms and eight of So, the oxidation state of terminal bromine atoms are plus six and the central bromine atom has plus four oxidation state. So it is very clear in the second compound there is no atom has zero oxidation state. Moving to last Na2S4O6. So O minus Na plus O minus Na plus. Here the oxidation state is plus 5. Here also it is plus 5. But these two sulfur atoms has zero oxidation state. So that means in option number third, there are two sulfur atoms with zero oxidation state. So the correct answer for this question is option number two. Moving to next question students. Mm -hmm.